Hey folks, we got another uh, project we're going to be working on here. I'm sure if you watched one of the earlier ones, um, we, we replaced one of, one of these guys with one of these guys in the, uh, in the office. And today we're going to be looking at doing the same thing, but instead of in the office, we're doing it in the bathroom. Uh, and the problem here, so in the, in, in, the, in the office it was, you know, the issue was that um, there just wasn't enough drywall there. We had some spackle, uh, and that, that kind of fixed the issue, and we had a little bit, you know, um, uh, was it tin tape or whatever it is? Uh, and that, that kind of solves the problem, seals it up pretty well. I actually add a little bit more spackle to it to, to just fill it on, fill it in on the top. Um, here the problem is, uh, so you can see this this guy was slightly larger than this guy, like the like the other one. The problem here is that uh, if we come over here, let's see if I can do this without dropping anything in this giant hole. You can hear the air's there's still going right now. Um, you can see it doesn't quite, you know, it, it runs into an issue of there's not, there's not enough room on the bottom to fit this thing in. You can see it's, it's colliding with the top of it. So, what I'm planning on doing here is we're going to take some of these little wood pieces uh, that just kind of laying around and we're going to build uh, a little like extension coming off of here. Let's see, I have, I have like a piece going here, and a piece going here, you know, and kind of fill this in around here. Um, so I think the, I have to figure out exactly how I'm going to shoot this, because uh, a lot of this is going to be done not around th this vent area. I'm going to construct a little, this little wooden uh, frame this thing uh, at a workbench, uh, probably out in the garage. Um, you know, we'll probably nail all this together, paint it, do all that stuff, and then uh, come in here and just nail it into this thing. Um, and then drill a couple of holes and screw this into it. Um, but as you can see, there's just enough room. You know, what, what I want to make sure of here is that this thing is, you know, th these wood pieces are uh, are tall enough that this thing can open and close without connecting with the existing wall. And I want to make sure that there's enough room uh, between the. Let's see here. So once again, attempt not to drop anything in the hole. <laughs> so we want to make sure that there's enough room the wood uh, in this in this area here um, and I don't know exactly you can see here it's it's really it's really ugly over here you gotta I don't know what I'm gonna you nail know, spackle in there or something just to make this look a little bit nicer and this one's gonna come out uh, like that you know kind of going out like that from here so there or something. Um, but yeah, the plan is to kind of construct this thing, uh, maybe even drill the hole before just shoving the whole thing into there, nailing it into the wall, probably caulking around it, um, using the, using that, uh, foil tape again. Um, so yeah, uh, that's just an introduction to this, and then Hopefully we'll, we'll jump over to the workbench and you can see me putting this thing together. Alright, well I'll catch you after the jump.
folks. Uh, I just want to check in uh, after we, we cut up the wood here. Um, so uh, I cut up this piece that I, that I cut up um, and uh, it's going to form kind of the top piece here. Uh, these, I cut one of these ones for the side. Uh, these are going to be the top like that. Um, the, what I was hoping was that we were going to get a couple of scraps at the end of cutting those things that would fit perfectly at the bottom. But as you can see here, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't quite fit when you compare it against this one. Uh, you can see that. It doesn't, doesn't quite fit. There's a little gap there. Um, I was looking into what I could do. I could buy a fastener that would, you know, you screw it in on, on either side and it connects these. But I, I really wanted something more, you know, this is going to be, air is going to be flowing through here. I want more air tight. Um, so I ended up just going to the, uh, the hardware store and picking up uh, another piece of wood that um, is about the same, uh, about the same size as, as this piece of wood. Um, you can see it's a little bit, you can see it's a little bit thinner. Um, it's certainly a worse piece of wood. This wasn't a finished piece of wood. I actually, I don't know if you saw it, I had to cut off the end of it. Both ends of it needed to get cut off because, um, like, like, look at that. That's there's this giant knot in it. Um, it's, it's not good. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I, I, and I also, I try to like, it's a little bit warped a little bit. So I actually try to bend uh, on one end. It's a little bit warped. So I try to bend it and it actually snapped in half, uh, very low quality. Um, but you know, that's the, that's the lumber market right now is you, if you want to get decent wood, you got to pay a fortune for it because, uh, everybody's, everybody's building. It's all about the housing stuff. Uh, all right. So. It, and this piece, like, honestly, even it being bad wood doesn't really matter because it's just going to end up at the bottom here. And you're not even, once it's all installed, you're not even going to be able to see that. Um, I'm not sure if I want this to be uh, more like that. I think we want it more, more up front. Um, so, yeah, the next step, the next step is going to be... Uh, nailing all this together. So I think like this, something like that. Uh, and then we'll just go through, we'll nail it all together. Um, I think we do, this one's a little, bit, a little too long. It's not, it's not quite a square. Maybe I'll take a little more off of it. Um, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna nail like that and then like that. I'll probably put either spackle to kind of seal this up a little bit better, or I'll put um, uh, some caulk or something. Um, I don't know. I, I I think I lead more towards enjoying caulking more than enjoying spackling, but uh, we'll we'll figure out from there. And then I'm gonna paint um, probably the front of it. Which one's gonna be the side's gonna be the front the other side, this side. So we'll paint the front, we'll paint the sides. Um, the back really doesn't matter. Even inside doesn't really matter. I just, I mostly want to get the outside painted um, and and the front painted because that's what you're going to be seeing. That's why I'm, I'm, you know, I think that's probably why, you know, when, my, when I did my calculations of the scrap fitting, it was with the anticipation that, like, this is all going to be a little bit more tighter. But I actually want to, I want to have a little bit of the wood showing. Um, that way it's not just like a vent, just hovering in mid-space. I want it to, I want you to actually be able to see that there's a thing around it, it's not just hovering. Um, all right, so, so next is going to be maybe taking a little bit more off this bottom one. Um, maybe just, I'll probably just sand it a little bit more. You can see I was sanding it to try to make it not as terrible a piece of wood. Um, so I'll sand it a little bit more on the side, and then we'll nail it together. We'll paint it. Oh, actually, we'll, we'll, we'll caulk it or caulk it or, or spackle it or something, and then we'll uh, and then we'll paint it. Um, 
All right, so I'll catch you after the time lapse. <laughs> gone ahead and uh, I applied some spackle. I, I nailed it all together, spackled it. Uh, I went with spackle because, um, let's see if I can rotate this to this view of that. Um, let's see if you can see that. Yeah, so so right up here, I, I nailed through, um, right through here, and it actually popped out on this side. Um, I'm actually, you know, I, I've actually been really contemplating getting a nail gun. Um, because nailing's always kind of been a pain in the butt. You're, you're applying so much force, and you could see, like, it, it, I don't know if you could see in the time lapse, but um, as I would nail things in, the, the structure of it would kind of change. Things were getting knocked down. You know, it's, it's so violent when you're, when you're doing all the nailing. Um, there's a lot of energy going on. Uh, so, um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really thinking about getting a nail gun for that reason, uh, and just because this wouldn't have happened. Um, but I, I applied some spackle to kind of cover that up. Uh, hopefully it doesn't look too bad. Um, so I'm gonna let this dry. It's actually drying really fast. It's drying way faster than uh, the, when we were doing the, the, the vent in the, uh, in the office. This, this guy is, I guess it's such, thin, such a thin layer. It's just, it's just instantly drying. Um, so we're gonna let this dry for a little bit. Uh, we'll come back, we'll paint it. Uh, maybe sand this down a little bit to make this look a little bit nicer. Uh, then we'll paint it, uh, and um, and then we'll, we'll screw this. Guy. I guess we'll we'll try installing this into here to get the screw holes correct before we before we uh, try to install this into the wall. Uh, I haven't I haven't really decided if I'm going to use uh, screws or or nails. I'm, I, once again, I'm not having luck with nails, so I might just uh, I might just opt to go with screws, which are going to be a little bit more sturdy. Uh, all right. Well, uh, well, we'll hop into the time lapse, and then uh, I'll, I'll catch you afterwards. <music> check-in. Um, so as you can probably see in the time lapse, uh, I, I just did some work on the, uh, actually in real time it was a few days ago, but uh, I, I did some, uh, I, I applied some spackle to the left side of that hole, the, the ducking, um, because you can see if I, when I'm going to put this thing in, there's going to be a slight gap right on the, you know, there's a door there. It's gonna be right near that door and I'm not gonna be able to access this little area over here. Um, so I went ahead and put some spackle there, painted it to make it look a little bit nicer because I'm not gonna be able to get in there once, once I put this thing in. Um, I just drew, I just uh, uh, drilled a couple of pilot holes uh, here, here, and here. 
Um, <clears throat> the reason why I'm not doing this symmetrically is because the um, where this is going, uh, because the door is kind of blocking it, this, this, the, where it's going is where it's going, and I can't move it any further to the left. Um, the 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 um, ducking, the metal used for the ducking, which I believe is some type of steel, um, kind of bends over right over where I spackled. So I spackled in front of the ducking. Um, I don't feel like bending it or anything like that. Um, and I don't really have a way, I don't have an impact drill, I don't have a way of drilling through that ducking. So what's gonna, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to avoid that as much as possible, uh, doing any drilling into that. I'm sure there's probably like a little area that I could have, could have drilled a, a drill hole here. I didn't want to chance it. Um, so I drilled through here. I think I accidentally uh, might have drilled through the nail that's going through here. Uh, oops. Um, probably should have thought of that. What can I do? Um, so uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go through, um, and I uh, I use this guy. I use this guy to figure out um, you know, what size these things are because it didn't say these were actually uh, eights. Yeah, see, these are eights, so I know that I need to use a, uh, a five sixty fourth pilot hole to drill. Um, I want to get this in place. I was actually thinking about just drilling the pilot holes, putting this in, and then uh, I would have to basically unscrew it, remove it, and then so it probably be pilot, probably would have been pilot holes for this thing now, um, and then actually screwing it when it's when it's in place when these are all screwed in. Um, but um, I felt like there was, you know, I want to make sure that I'm getting this, you know, and right now I can kind of shift it, but when I was trying it out in the hole, uh, where it's actually going to go, it felt a little bit like there was, there was only one spot that it really wanted to go. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna install this first, and then we're gonna figure out where these holes need to be, and then we're gonna drill the pilot holes, install it, um, and then I'm gonna do some caulking around here just to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, you know, you don't want the gap in there. And of course, I'm gonna put some um, some foil tape around the inside to seal it all up. All right. Well, um, I'll see you after the jump. Hopefully that's our last jump. After the time lapse, um, as you can see, we got our uh, we got our new vent installed here. Um, I actually had it installed uh, got it installed last night and waited for um, it's caught to dry a little bit and then added some paint to it. Kind of painted around there. Add a little spackle down there. Um, because uh, there was a little, there's a little gap between where this floor tile ends and where the wall begins, um, that was covered up by the last vent. Um, this one though uh, had had a little bit of spackle to it. Um, so yeah, we we got this thing installed. Um, I did want to mention that uh, it, you know as I was installing this, uh, the wood here to the wall. Um, I was very worried about um, actually splitting this wood. Um, I think the the um, the screws that I got were a little bit too big for the um, 
uh, for the for the thickness of wood I have here. Um, so you know, it, rather than rather than it kind of screwing in there very well, it, it almost split it. And I think actually this side split a little bit in the back, but luckily I think the paint on it kind of actually held it together a little bit. Um, so you know, you you live and learn. But look, luckily, it lo looks fine from the outside. Um, I think one of the other things that I, that I was running into was forgetting to do some of the, uh, d doing things in a, in a uh, you know, forgetting to do some of the, the steps, uh, that I wanted to get done, you know, I'm sure as you can probably tell from the time lapse, when I was installing this wood thing, I, I realized, oh no, I, for I forgot to take off all the painter tape that was around here, so I had to, I had to actually unscrew it, and luckily I didn't fully install it yet. Um, I could kind of unscrew it a little bit and remove all the painter tape around it. Uh, and kind of a similar thing happened with the, uh, with the foil tape when I was installing this guy. I, you know, I, I think I got that screw in. I think maybe it was the screw I got in. Uh, and then I realized, oh no, I have to actually re put in all that, um, foil tape on the inside to kind of seal it up. Um, so I had to, I had to unscrew this one, go in there and, and, and tape that all up. Um, so yeah, maybe I need some kind of checklist or something, uh, as I go through this. Um, oh, and I should mention, so, so the, the pilot holes here, um, you know, I, I think you could see in the time lapse, the very start of the last time lapse, that I actually marked off, um, you know, put this in, marked it off, uh, and then, um, and then went out and, and drilled the pilot holes. I actually... I, it was a 564th that I was using. I actually snapped a couple of them uh, right off into these holes as I was trying to as I was trying to drill the pilot holes. I don't know what was happening there. It was it had a too fast of a speed or something. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, you, you live and learn. I mean, I don't know what I learned from that, but uh, I learned something. Uh, all right, so let me see what else. Uh, uh, oh yeah, well one of one of the things that I was a little bit uh a little bit um disappointed in after I got this whole thing installed was you can actually see up here there's kind of a little gap. Um this thing is a little bit the the, the vent is a little bit too low on this, uh or maybe this screw is a little bit too high on, on the wood here, um, that it doesn't quite fit under here. So this kind of popping a little bit out um so it's not it's not perfectly sealed on there um however you know i i've i've noticed i've like i said i had this installed for about a day and you know these things are never even when they're perfectly closed they're not you know it doesn't completely seal the system there's still air coming through it and i noticed that especially through here it was coming getting a lot of air through that thing um so yeah it's not you know i'm not too worried about it um, you know, I wish it had turned out a little better, but, you know, what can you do? I don't think anyone's going to really, you know, unless you're staring at it, unless you're watching this video right now, um, I don't think you're going to notice that. Um, uh, yeah, I think we're, so I think, I think this basically wraps it up. Um, you know, we still got to wait for this paint to dry and the spackle over there to dry. Um, but you can see it's, it's going, uh. It should finish up pretty next day, you know, probably by tomorrow we all try. You know, maybe I'll throw a fan on it or something to get to dry a little faster. Um But yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with that. Um you know, it it you know, if you if you didn't know any better you'd be like, ah, oh, that's that's how it's supposed to look. <laughs> uh it's the same color as the wall. Um all right, so I think that I think that should wrap it up. I hope you all enjoyed that, uh, and uh, adios.